Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mountain. Howdy, welcome back to Pack Adventures. Today's video is moving vlog three or four, and I have big news for this video. As most of you probably already know, we were supposed to go look at a house on Monday, which we didn't go to. There's been no video, and I'm here to tell you we just never went. And there'll also be no more houses that I'll be showing you guys to look at because we actually found a house. My grandparents who passed away with the, in the last couple of years, the last two or three years, I don't know how long it's been, but my grandparents that passed away inherited their house to us. My mom's stepbrother, who we don't consider family because he's kind of a scumbag, had custody of everything. Well, not custody. It's not a child, but you know what I mean. He ripped up the wheel from my grandparents and stole everything. But when he heard that um, we had lost our house, he decided that he would let us have the house that was rightfully ours. We now own the house. All 15 of the animals can go because there's no rules. We own the house. And another good thing is my childhood dog, Poppy, is buried at that house. Most of y'all don't know about him, but my childhood dog is buried at that house. He was a chihuahua, and if his grave is still there when we move in, I'll definitely show you guys his grave and let you kind of meet Poppy, even though you're not really meeting him because he's passed. But he was my childhood dog, and he died when I was in, like, sixth grade, and I cried all day in school and only told my one friend that I trusted, and he went around and told everybody for me while I was upset so they would leave me alone. But, yeah, he, my do childhood Chihuahua Poppy is buried there. I may or may not put in some pictures of him to show you guys what he looked like. I might not be able to find any. So I actually filmed quite a few pictures of Poppy and me when I was little. Actually more than enough pictures, so we're going to do a little montage of memory of him right now. But if we move there where he's buried, I kind of want to make a cross for his grave and, you know, a stuffed animal that looks like him and a bunch of flowers, stuff like that, pictures of him, stuff like that. Because he was my childhood dog. He brought me a lot of joy when I was a child. And although Chip is my soul dog, I think if I never met Chip, Poppy would have been. I was very close with Poppy too. He was a family dog, though. He wasn't just my dog. I was too young to have a dog then. But although I'm honoring him and I love him and I'll never forget about him, let's not make this whole video about Poppy. Let's move on to more about their house that we now own that we're going to be moving into. It doesn't have water, and since we own the house, it's up to us to get a well or something put in. The problem is we don't know if we can put a well in because it's so close to the road. Just having the memories there of my grandparents that passed away that's gonna be good that's gonna be a comfort i think we also might find their dog bailey's ashes there we don't know if they're there or not but he was a yorkie and obviously that being the house where my chihuahua is buried that's great too the reason he was buried at that house is because it was supposed to be inherited to us the whole time and we like if something ever happened to my grandparents and they were still alive when Poppy was buried there. So it's kind of destiny for us to move in. So I think we're gonna do everything to make sure we get to. And I have a quick update on Diesel for y'all real quick before we continue talking about the house. 
You're probably surprised to see him in the house. You know, he stays outside in the fence with other dogs. He actually got hurt. He sprained his paw, and he couldn't put any weight on it at all yesterday. I brought him in the house, and I let him rest up all night and all day with me in the bed, and now he's limping but putting weight on it, which means it's not broken because if it was, it would have gotten worse, not better. So we're not taking him to the vet because it's not broken. He's not in any pain or he wouldn't be putting weight on it. He would be crying and whimpering. So it's gotten better already just in a couple days. Actually, just since yesterday morning, it's gotten better. He rested all day yesterday and all night last night in the house. And um, it'll be better in a couple days. So that's why we're not taking him to the vet. Sometimes if that happens and you got some ointments or something like that or something to wrap it up with, you can just, if it's a cut, which he doesn't have no external injuries, it's only internal, it's a sprain. But if he ever was to get, like, cut, I actually have ointment at home that I would just put on him and not even take him to the vet unless I didn't know what he got cut on because he could get tetanus or something if I didn't know what it was, but... I do recommend always taking your dogs to the vet for their vaccinations and their they should get a checkup like twice a year and a lot more often if they're senior or have health conditions. But if they're limping a little bit or not putting weight on one of their legs, I wouldn't take them to the vet right away because I'd bring them in the house, let them rest, and if it doesn't get any better, then... I would take them into the vet in a couple days if it doesn't get any better. If it gets worse, I would definitely take them in. But if you kind of just let them rest up and see how they do, you can kind of determine whether they need a vet or not. I don't really take them to the vet right away because that can be a waste of money if it's just a sprain or a strain because that can just get better with rest and love and time, which he's had plenty of rest and love these past couple of days. He's rested all day yesterday, cuddling with me, getting treats and sandwich meat. He slept in the bed with me all night last night, and he's rested in the house all day today, and he actually wanted to go out to use the bathroom, and I let him out, and I followed him and made sure he was okay. He limped around. He looked so sad, but he was doing much better, and I was surprised that he even wanted to walk around outside and play with the cats and stuff. So he's still full of life. He's still full of life and full of spirit. He's not giving up, and he'll be better in a couple of days. He knows he's going to get through this. A dog will know if they're going to die. They'll find a quiet place to rest, and they'll kind of go to sleep and just kind of drift away and die. But he's still full of life and full of spirit. He knows it's just a little sprain, and it's going to get better. He knows why I've been letting him in the house, I think. I think he knows why I've been giving him so much love and rest. I honestly think he knows that. I honestly think he knows why I've been treating him like this. Because dogs are a lot smarter than people give them credit for. Any dog can learn any trick imaginable with just a little bit of time and patience and dedication from the trainer. Because it's in dogs' instincts to want to please their owners. They're domestic animals that were bred to help people. If you teach them to do something, they'll do it no problem. If it's a harder to train trick, you just need more dedication and time to train them because they get confused sometimes. So dogs are actually a lot smarter than people give them credit for, and I think he truly believes why I've been giving him so much attention and letting him rest in the bed. I think he truly knows why I've been doing that lately. And he'll definitely be better before the big move, which is good. I don't want him, you know, doing stress, going through too much stress with that hurt leg. Paul, I mean. But anyways, that was it for Diesel. He's getting better. He'll be better in a couple of days, so there's no need to take him to the vet. He's not in any pain. Um, so moving on to the house. It is our house. We do own the house now. We could rent it out and be landlords if we chose to do that, but we're not doing that because we need a place to live right now. So we have to find a way to get water, work and water in the house. The neighbor actually gave my grandparents their water rights, and when they passed away, the neighbor disconnected their water from their house because their house didn't have enough water. And now they're not wanting to do that for us because, like I said, their house didn't have enough water. And there might not, we might not be able to do a well because of it being so close to the road. 
which is what the people said. I don't know why that would affect it. That's just what the people said. But we may have to get like a water tower or something. But I'm not sure what we're going to do about the water. But I'll tell you guys that as we go. Now that we found a house, we've actually canceled the storage unit. We won't be taking anything there. We'll just be taking everything straight to the house as we move. Because we hadn't actually taken anything there yet. If we did, you would have seen videos of it. I do not have any pictures of the house at the moment. Um, but I already know what it all looks like on the inside. On the outside, I've been there multiple, multiple times when my grandparents were living there. I had a room in that house. I used to stay the night at that house quite a bit. So, yeah. I know exactly what the house looks like, how big it is, where every single room is. But there's a kitchen in the back, and then there's a back door with a porch. And then out on the porch is the backyard where the building is. But I think my mom's stepbrother's taking the building. And then over on the other side is where Poppy's buried. And then... You go back in, and there's the kitchen, which I already told you. But then out of the kitchen is the living room. The front door's in the living room. On the side of the living room, there's a bedroom right here. On the other side of the living room, there's a bathroom. And my bedroom that I used to sleep in when I stayed there, when my grandparents were still living. And then the room beside that was their computer room. We're going to use it as a bedroom because that makes three bedrooms, which is a perfect amount of bedrooms for us. One for my parents, one for my brother, and one for me. And then in the big bedroom, which was my papa's bedroom, there's actually um, a bathroom, another bathroom that's actually bigger than the main bathroom. And then there's a front yard. It's pretty close to the road. The yard is not as big as our yard here, and it's close to the road, which is something I fear for our animals. The dogs will be in a fence. The cats, I might have to get them LED collars or something. Yin, Badger, and Panther Jr., those three cats will be in the house most of the time, too. Especially Yin, because he's never allowed out. And Badger, Panther, and Jr. sleep with me because our dogs play too rough with them, and I can't leave them outside unattended with the dogs for too long. But there's a lot of things you still have to figure out, but it'll work out, and we'll figure everything out, and we'll get moved in soon. And the next moving vlog will probably be us actually packing or us trying to get water at the house. Or just us going to show you what the house actually looks like. Because I already know what it looks like. But we're probably going to go look at it when we're trying to figure out some stuff. So I'll probably show you what the house looks like before we move in. But I don't know what the next moving vlog will be. It'll be one of those things that I just mentioned. We're kind of just figuring out as we go. Um, so um, y'all don't know what to expect because, well, we really don't either. So just stay tuned for the next moving vlog. And I guess that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching Pack Adventures Redneck Pet Channel. Don't forget to like and comment. And if you're a redneck and you like the cast, don't forget to subscribe to Pack Adventures Redneck Pet Channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.